that's the plan so i'm going to go into the to the continue and now we've got our setup process so it says welcome we're glad you're here uh here's what we'll do together right now tell us what you need uh, help with we'll ask a few questions to get to know your business we'll bring in your transactions and organize your money so I'm going to set this up. I'm going to do somewhat of the bare minimum to set it up because we can set up many things like bank feeds and applications afterwards. And I think that's actually kind of easier to do oftentimes. So I'm going to, I'm going to call the company file bank feeds practice file. So, so I'm just going to give it a generic name here. Uh, this is my legal name. I'm not going to check it off here. If it legal name versus doing business as, for example, might be useful for, for some of the reports that you're putting together and things like tax returns and whatnot, payroll. So how, uh, how have you been managing your finances? Nothing. I'm getting started. QuickBooks Desktop. Now, if you choose QuickBooks Desktop, then it might ask you to try to convert the desktop version to online. So if you're using a prior software, then the question is, do you want to pull in the data from all that prior software? Or do you want to just start from this point going forward in the current software, just entering the financial statement data from that point going forward? So I'm not going to use that. Sage is another software, other bookkeeping software, spreadsheets or pen. I'm just going to say other. Uh, I'm just getting started. Let's say this is uh, I'm going to say next. So what's your industry? So the industry uh, can be a general kind of industry. Now, note with the industry, you would think possibly that they would they would change your chart of account based on the industry and uh, and change the name of the accounts and stuff like that. But it seems to me that they don't do a lot of differences between the different industries with the with the chart of account that just give you one generic chart of account. So this is almost more for internal purposes than any difference that they're going to make to the company file as far as I can tell. So my general rule here would of course to be the picking the industry that's closest to you. What I'd like to do, I'd like to be able to say I would I would like to not pick any industry because I want to try to build my chart of accounts as I do the data input just to show how the bank feeds work most fully. But notice I'm not even going to pick an industry. I'm going to try to skip it and I still I think they're still going to give me the same chart of account which is kind of different than the desktop version because on the desktop version, there's a big difference. You actually get to see the different chart of accounts that they are recommending based on the industry that you're picking. And you can pick one to have no chart of accounts so you can build it from scratch. So I kind of I kind of wish they would take a chapter out of the desktop version and customize that a little bit more or give you an option to not have this giant chart of accounts or you know customize it a little bit more per industry. So in any case, I'm skipping that. There's my rant on that one. What kind of business uh, is this? So you got sole proprietorship, partnership, not-for-profit organization. Now, some items might be necessary to have these differences internally for tax reporting and whatnot purposes. But again, they're not really changing the chart of accounts depending on these. You would think that the sole proprietor chart of account would have owner's equity and not retained earnings. A partnership would have multiple partnership accounts, not-for-profits. The names would change according to it saying it's not for profit, even though not for, prof for profits or money hungry, just like anything else as corporation and corporations, you would think that they would have, you know, the retained earnings. So in any case, I'll just pick the sole proprietorship next. And it says, how does your business make money? Uh, we tailor our account categories based on your answers. So provide services, sell products, and I'm going to pick both of those. Again, they say here that they categorize our chart of accounts based on our answers but i think they're just going to give us it seems like they just give one big long chart of accounts no matter what i pick that's what it looks like to me i mean i'm just i'm just saying so i'm going to go to the next one what's your main role uh, at bank feeds practice so we can say we're the owner employee bookkeeper or other i'm just going to say the owner here this is probably for bookkeeping or internal use of QuickBooks. They just want more of our personal information, it looks like here. I'm not sure that is gonna change anything in terms of the actual account or the file, that's what I'm saying. Who works at this business? Help us understand. So I fly solo employees, so I'm just gonna say maybe contractors, other partners. Again, this looks more like information that QuickBooks wants to gather rather than information that might help us <laughs> build the company file. So what apps do you use for business? So these are some standard apps that, that might be integrated. 
So I'm not gonna worry about that now because that's not our focus of the practice problem and you can add the apps after. So if you have apps you need to deal with, you don't have to do it at this point. Uh, I'm gonna skip it. So what do you want to do today? So set up QuickBooks uh, to start using it right away. Explore QuickBooks before I set it up. I'm gonna set it up to start it right away. Let's begin setting up things uh, you care about most. Okay, let's do that. List your accounts and see everything in one place. So QuickBooks will automatically bring in transactions and save hours of manual entry. Securely link your bank or credit card. Select accounts you'd like to bring in. See what your cash flow looks like. Now, this is the bank fee link. We're going to do that. But again, I don't really like doing it in this setup process. I kind of like doing it once the file's set up so I can see what accounts I'm dealing with and whatnot. So I'm going to skip this and we'll actually link to the banks once the, the, the file is set up. What do you want to set up next? Uh, invoice customers, look per, uh, professional and get paid, track receipts and bills. So I'm not going to get into the custom invoices at, at this point in time. I'm going to skip this information. And what is everything you want to set up? Your choices help personalize your setup. You can still use every part of QuickBooks. So you got organized money in and out. I'm going to do that. Accept online payments. Uh, I don't, I'm maybe they're going to try to sell us on their, on their QuickBooks thing, uh, financing or bank accounts and whatnot to do that. So I'm not going to do that yet. Invoice customers. I'm going to do that. And again, by checking these off, I don't think they're adding a whole lot, except maybe they might adjust the flow chart to the company file. I think it's for internal uses for QuickBook wants to know what we're doing for their purposes more than ours mainly, but whatever track time, manage inventory, protect my business with insurance. That looks like an upsell to me. If I check that off, they're going to try to sell me insurance. It seems like track mileage. I'm not going to do that. Get a business bank account. Uh, get, I'm not going to track receipt and expenses, pay employees, track sales, manage sales tax. Let's do that next. What else we got? The effortless way to pay your team free 30 day trial of QuickBooks payroll. So now they're trying to upsell on the payroll. Uh, and so you could set up, you, if you want to practice with the payroll within your free 30 day trial, you could set that up and that's another a uh, nice thing to be, to practice with, but we uh, are practicing the bank feeds and I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'll touch on payroll and how it relates to bank feeds, but not get into to payroll. So yes, I'd like to payroll premium free for 30 days. I mean, it's free for 30 days. I can cancel it, but do I need it? I don't think I need it. I'm just going to say no. Let's go to the next. Okay. We're almost ready to dive in. That's great. I was going to dive in before the water was in the pool, but now that it's, it's much better if it, there's water in there. All right. So it says, welcome to QuickBooks. Let's show you around so you can take the tour. I'm not going to take the tour. I'll kind of, I'll kind of, so they, they give you your setup checklist all, all up here. Uh, the, the business information, get ready to, to, to invoice, send personalized invoices. So you give you some information on how to personalize the invoices and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can close this setup. I'm going to say close the checklist, por favor. Done setting up, close the checklist, close it, close it. All right, there it is. Now, if I go to my chart of accounts, it's going to be down here in the bookkeeping. I'm in the business view, by the way. If I go into my chart of accounts, just to see what they put in here. See, I didn't even choose, I didn't even choose an industry. And they gave me this big old chart of accounts, which looks exactly like the last problem I did where I did choose an industry. So I really, it looks to me like they're not doing anything different based on the chart of accounts that they give basically to everyone. 